Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Endurastan base packs available at Revzilla.com. So what you see on the table in front of me are two different size base packs from Endurastan. Now, if you're not familiar with Endurastan, they are a brand that is new to us here at Revzilla, and they're really for you adventure and enduro riders out there, as well as long haul touring riders that are looking for additional dry bag storage for your motorcycles. So we're gonna break down what you're getting with these base packs, but first, let's take a note on installation. So install for these, it's gonna be a one out of three on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty for base installation. Now, there's also some additional mounting options for this that would probably bump it up to what I would call a two out of three on our BSD, and we're gonna get into that in depth towards the end of the video. So make sure to check out our mounting options for this as we work through. But before we get into that, really I wanna break down what Endurastan is and why they're important to us here at Revzilla. So this is definitely gonna be a new brand like I mentioned earlier, but it's a brand that I've had a chance to play around with and I'm extremely excited about from a luggage standpoint. There's a lot of bang for your buck factor going on with what we're seeing from Endurastan. Now the company is a brainchild of two individuals. You're gonna have David Jenny and then Christopher Von Au out of Switzerland. These are two guys that were hardcore enduro off-road riders and they weren't happy with what they were getting with the current luggage that was on the market. So in 2008, they decided to change that and they created their own company. And the luggage options that we're seeing from them are extremely rigorous, they're beefed up options, and there is a huge bang for your buck factor with what you're getting here. Now, a lot of what we're seeing from them is gonna be dry luggage. And what's really a unique aspect of this is you get dry waterproof storage, but you don't get the weight of big heavy boxes. And this is gonna be extremely important for you riders out there, you know, especially in an off-road world, that are looking to cut weight while still maximizing storage potential. So the prices of the items that you're gonna see on the table, there's two different sizes. The small one is gonna come in around the $65 price point, and the $90 price point is gonna be for the larger item. Now we're talking about bang for your buck, and that's because a lot of the comparable options we're seeing from other manufacturers come in at a much higher price point, and we're not seeing a reduction in quality from Enduristan. So let's break down what you have on the table. So there's two different sizes for the base packs. You're gonna have the smaller one, which comes in at 6.5 liters, and you're gonna have the larger one, which comes in at 12 liters. So the construction of this is what's gonna set Endurastan apart, and the construction we're gonna see carried through their entire lineup. So the main component here is a three-layer construction that's gonna utilize a rubberized polymer base on the outside. Now the rubberized, rubber, uh, say that 10 times fast, the rubberized polymer base on the outside is gonna be waterproof, but it's gonna also offer a tactile grip to this. So it has a rubberized kind of a sticky feel to it. So if you put this on a metal pannier on the top to give yourself additional storage, it's not gonna slide around as easily. Now the middle section is where you get your abrasion resistance. So sandwiched in between the, the, the three layers is gonna be a thousand D nylon mesh webbing. Think of this as that same 1000D you're wearing in your textile jacket. This is gonna keep you safe, or this is gonna keep your luggage safe rather if you get to the campsite, you pull it off, you toss it over by the campfire, or in the event of an accident, if this is sliding along the ground, it's gonna to work to make sure you don't wear through. Now if it does wear through, Endurastan does have a repair kit you can get. And the repair kit will allow you to make modifications, changes, and fixes to your bag without having to repurchase a whole new setup. Ingenious little offering there from Endurastan. Now when we get to the third layer on the inside, this is gonna be a red contrast nylon. And this is gonna be really interesting because this is your second layer of waterproof protection. So you've got the rubberized polymer on the outside, you've got that 1000D for your abrasion on the inside, and then you've got that nylon, or the vinyl rather, interior in that red contrast. And what's cool about this is if you do get dirt or grime in the bag, you can simply get back from your trip, hose the whole thing out, let it air dry, extremely easy to clean. So, that also is gonna give you your second layer of waterproof protection on the inside, so you now have a waterproof bag. But for those of you out there that have never used a roll top bag, what you wanna make sure you do, you have all your contents on the inside of the bag, you wanna make sure you roll the top down, I try to say at least three times, if you've got this packed up full, the real thing you wanna make sure you're doing is covering that lip. So as long as you get that two rollover where you're not gonna to have to worry about water pushing through, you should be okay. If you can go that third time, that's really where your security is gonna come into play to make sure that you're not gonna have any water pushing through. Once you have that down, you have your compression straps on the side, you're gonna clip these into place, and now the contents on the inside should be waterproof. You have heat welded seams running all the way across the dry bag to make sure you're not gonna have any water pushing through any potential weak points. Now, the other thing you'll notice, you have those compression straps that are gonna be located on the side. I like this. What we've seen from some other manufacturers is they clip them up to the top 
And I've used a few of those bags, and sometimes during aggressive situations, they have a tendency to unroll themselves. So I like the fact that Endurastan gives you secure mounting points on the side, and then you're also gonna have these D-ring hooks with an additional strap you can purchase out, or, or you can purchase in addition. So if you wanna use a shoulder strap with this, once you get off the bike, you can carry this with you. Now, along the outside, what you're gonna see is a nylon molly webbing, and I've got two different bags here. So I've got the smaller one and the larger one. And you'll see what I have done here is the mounting straps I've got kind of clipped together up top so I can talk about the molly webbing. And then over on my right-hand side, I've got those mounting straps already run through. So when we talk about molly webbing, you're gonna have this webbing running down. You're gonna have bar tack stitching. This is a military term. And really where this comes from is it gives you additional latch down points. So it's kind of cool for two reasons. One. This really secures the, the nylon webbing to make sure it's not gonna pull off. You don't just have one point on one side and one point on the other side, which only gives you two points, and that's a potential weak failure point. Now you've got all these different mounting points, so it just makes it for a stronger, you know, more durable design. The other thing this does is it sections off where you can run tie-down points through. And this is gonna just give you different options for mounting. The other thing you'll note is that the third loop down is gonna give you extra webbing in here. Now this is important because if you're running those mounting points through, and I'm gonna pull over my big bag for a second, this allows you to run that buckle through the webbing. So it's really an ingenious thought out point, and it's very simple, but they want the extra mile, they give you that extra little piece of webbing there, so once this mounting point is in play, you don't have to worry about it coming undone or sliding back and forth, which leads to a more secure setup once this is lashed down to your bike. Now there is an additional mesh pocket on the outside and you're gonna have a Velcro closure for that. I was talking with uh, some of my fellow riders earlier and like, well, what is that really for? I like to put dirty underwear and socks in there. So if you get something that's wet and you just want a place to put it and you don't wanna have to worry about it keeping inside with your clean laundry or your clean items, you can actually use this and it helps to dry out items. And then you do have the, uh, the pull down on the outside as well with the elasticated strap just to give you an extra lashing point if you need it. So really what I wanna jump into now is the mounting for this because honestly, it's really the most unique piece that I've seen with the base pack because there's a variety of different ways you can mount this down to your motorcycle. So let's take a look at the first point. The first bag or the smaller bag, the 6.5 liter bag, one of the things you'll note is they use contrasted male and female ends. So a lot of times what we'd see from a manufacturer is they're gonna put two female ends on here and then the mounting straps will both be male. Well, the problem with that is when you take the bag off, you've got two male ends that are gonna be flapping around. So what if you wanna put the shoulder strap on this and carry it with you? You can simply close these off like I've done so and you're gonna notice that they're gonna now stay nice and tight in there. So we talked about in the beginning on our BSD or beard scale difficulty for install, this is gonna be a one out of three with a possible two out of three bump. So let's break down first the one out of three and then we'll talk briefly about the two out of three. So for a one out of three, all you would have to do is you're gonna take the available mounting hardware and you're gonna run this under either the tail section of your bike or around a hard part of your bike. And much like I have this one already set up, you're simply gonna go down, around, and through. And this is gonna be one of those items that's gonna work very nicely with additional luggage, as well as additional luggage from Enduristan. So if you're looking at their saddlebags, this is gonna be stuff that's gonna be able to easily mount on top of existing luggage. And then you have this loop point in the back that's gonna loop underneath, like I said, either a tail pack or tail rack, or through the hard lash down points on your top of your saddlebags or metal panniers. So that's one way you can mount that down. That's gonna take you a matter of minutes. You're gonna be installed and ready to go. When you're ready to pop that off, you simply undo the straps, clip it back together, and you're set. Let's say you're using metal panniers. You wanna clip this down to the top of your metal pannier, but the problem is you don't have any tie down or lash down points to the top of your personal pannier rack. What's unique about this we've got two holes that are gonna be done in the mesh webbing. And not only are they just cut holes, but they've actually reinforced them with a stitching, so you don't have to worry about them being potential fail points. Now, the other piece that you're gonna get with this is gonna be metal hardware. So if you want, you can actually drill two holes in the top of your metal panniers, and you can use the metal hardware to mount these points down to the top of your rack, or you can do it to the back of a luggage rack. And then once this is gonna be locked into your pannier rack, this is gonna stay on there, and you simply set the bag down on top, you reach around, you click it into play. Remember earlier when I talked about the fact that you have the male and the female end, and you're not gonna have to worry about those flopping around in the bag? It's gonna work for your straps as well. So if you're utilizing that metal pannier system and you don't have this down on top of your bag or you don't have this down on top of your rack, you can simply clip this into play, 
tie it down, and you're not gonna have to worry about the ends flopping around when you're out there riding. So it's very clear to me, as I've used a variety of different luggage out there, and some good, some bad, that Endurastand has put a ton of thought into even the smallest details when talking about their product. So there's a lot of riders out there that are utilizing Endurastand bags, including myself. I've played around with them, I've enjoyed them. But if you wanna hear more about what other riders have to say, Click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, and that's gonna allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there, and they're putting these bags through their paces. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as to which luggage option is gonna be right for you and your style of riding, give them a call at 877-792-9455, or simply shoot us an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Endurastand Base Packs. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.